Okay, so it's September 1st, 2021, and I am heading over to the Spanish Fork Airport um, for my third training flight in a row. So I'm, I'm scheduled for five days this week. It's crazy to believe that I'm going flying five days this week. Um, I just bought Sporty's um, online training course, and I went through their entire... Uh, I said, it says I went through 20% of their um, video video materials. And I just took the like 70 question test and I got a 97% on it. So uh, that was good. There's a few things that are kind of weird, like how to hold your ailerons, you know, in the wind, depending on where the wind is coming from. A left quarter wind, you know, how are you supposed to kind of counteract that? And I actually got to see that. Um, <clears throat> You know, I actually saw my instructor doing that when we were taxiing uh, yesterday. So I know it's a real thing. It's kind of cool because <clears throat> you're not like you're moving the you're moving the controls, but obviously you're on the ground. So it's just a, kind of a thing to like keep the wind from hitting you. Anyways, uh, crazy thing is we were about to take off, and I and I, I in my mind I had that that you if you wanted to kind of adjust your left and right position that you use the brakes because right? that's what you kind of do when you're taxiing and i think i freaked my instructor out uh he's like my controls my controls i was like yes please like go ahead like oh my gosh like okay so i just i hope that using the right controls i think it's the you know i think it's the rudders that you want to use hopefully that makes it a lot less scary freak out like um so yeah i'm heading there it's about it's like literally almost a five minute drive from my house. So that's so, that's so nice. Um, my mind is just swimming. Uh, you know, I'm just like, I, I keep doing it. I keep spending money. It's like three, it's like 200 bucks, 250 bucks uh, pop. And I'm just, just going for it. I just, I'm excited to see like what comes next. I've never come, I've never been to this far. I kind of think that maybe I'll just be, you know, continue to work on the fundamentals uh, cause man, I, I, I'd be happy to work on the fundamentals for quite a while. Uh, just straight and level flight turns, uh, ascending, descending, maintaining altitude, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's crazy, but I, I actually really love it. I love the challenge, uh, the, the ground school, the ground school is so much better when you're actually flying, uh, because I, I can, I'm making connections between the, you know, when I'm actually up in the air, um, and so it's it's so much more relevant rather than it's just like oh yeah that's the you know that's the master switch and like today I had light bulbs going off about the the fuel pump because there's like two fuel pumps and why the RPMs are going down when I when I'm checking the magnetos and think when I'm turning you know turning the magnetos on and off and it's just things are starting to click the the the, the connections I'm making on the ground school connections I'm making uh, actual you know flight training you know hopefully those things start to gel together. And every little insight, you know, is just going to help. But, uh, yeah, I'm loving it so far. Um, this is my third flight. You know, I was, had, had some nerves, you know, because there's obviously it's somewhat dangerous. But uh, it, I, I haven't really felt, I haven't really felt, you know, like I've been in danger at all yet. Uh, but except for that, maybe, maybe that first time when I was about to, like, trying to take off and I kind of, like, kind of gave it some break. Um you know, that was like kind of a scarier moment, right? When when he had to kind of take over, uh, but nothing in the air. Anyways, oh, I love it. I just love learning the environment and, and just all these things finally coming together. Um, and I also want to just enjoy the view too, because I feel like I'm so focused on, on just flying sometimes and all the instruments and everything going on that I forget to like look out the window and, and just be like, is this for real? Like this is this is amazing. This is kind of trippy. Uh, so yeah, I love it. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing it. Um, going for it. Got my third class medical exam scheduled for next week. Um, picked up another lesson. I uh, got one tomorrow with Tyler. I have one today with Zach, and then I have another one with uh, Christina on Friday. And so I have three instructors I can choose from to fill my schedule up with training, I'm trying to knock out as much as I can for this month of September because I'm on leave from work. And I may or may not, I might, I might not get that close, but I'll, I'll at least get to, I'll, I mean, shoot, I'll be at least at 20 hours, I would think. Um, so a good chunk of the way. And then from there I can do it nights and weekends. 
you know, once, once I've got this kind of stuff behind me. Anyways, I'm about to pull into the airport right now. And I think I will keep doing these little videos because I'm sure they'll be so fun to look back on someday. Um, you know, my, my impressions and thoughts from, from my private pilot training. So maybe, yeah, this little, this little five minute trip back and forth from the airport can be a good, like, uh, you know, decompression, like reflective on, on what I learned, uh, what's, how, what's going on, how it's going, um, for either just for myself or maybe someday it'll get posted. But, uh, yeah, I'm just pulling into the, uh, Woodhouse Field SPK right now. I got I got to flight in seven minutes so I will talk to you later take care